The presence of pathogens in societal waste cannot be avoided. However, we must do whatever we can to reduce the potential transfer of plant, animal, and human pathogens when we recycle these ways. Indeed, recycling itself did not fully anticipate these concerns when it was conceived in the 60s and 70s. Plant pathogens and waste that can cause serious problems with garden crops and shrubs include Pythium, Rhizoctonia, and Fusarium. At Woods End Lab, we are carefully studying the detection and control of these organisms, including methods of natural suppression, in order to more safely utilize natural ways. Today, there is a great concern about the presence of E. coli in the food chain. Generic E. coli is a member of the common fecal coliform group tested in many laboratories, yet requiring a separate step for confirmation. Even knowing this, a subgroup of E. coli are Shiga toxin producing E. coli 0157 strains. These organisms possess very low thresholds of infectivity and must be absent in all recycled products. We can separately identify these by additional steps, assuring that such toxin producers and also Salmonella are not present in final recycled materials. Careful laboratory procedures enumeration steps, chemical toxin confirmation, all of these belong to the set of proper laboratory procedures. Presently, E. coli 0157 is virtually endemic to all manures. However, our laboratory has also found it present in all kinds of organic waste. What this means is that when we compost and recycle, whether we make biogas or land apply the materials, we must take steps to assure that these materials are clean. In this way, the work at Woods End Laboratories is assuring that recycling is conducted in a sustainably hygienic fashion.